clear. Sergeant Mike Roman, based out of Charlie Company, 229 Infantry, 197th Infantry Training Brigade, uh, United States Army Sniper School Instructor. All right, basically this is uh, wrapping up the five-week MTT that we flew here to Alaska to conduct. Um, today's the last day that we have on the range. Uh, what we're doing here today is that uh, we're testing the student's overall ability to mill out and find distances of unknown targets and successfully engage them with two shots. Uh, we like to call the exercise the final shot. Uh, sniper will get down by himself. Uh, he won't have a spotter with him. Uh, he will mill the target, figure out his own range, put the correct dope in the gun, make his own wind call, and he'll engage the target and hopefully he'll get that first round hit. Technically, you always want to get the first round for a hit because uh, if you don't, your enemy that you're trying to shoot and kill, they're going to know that you're there and then uh, they'll start shooting back at you. So you want to get the drop on them before they get it on you. Uh, the, next, the next station that we have over here is the uh, alternate firing position because uh, any sniper that has deployed knows that they don't spend the majority of their time doing belly shooting over in Afghanistan. Um, things are boring for the most part, but when it does go down, it's usually at the worst possible time. Uh, therefore, we need to utilize alternate firing positions. So we're getting these sniper students comfortable in doing so. Uh, we're teaching them about natural point of aim, correct body position. Uh, instilling the fundamentals into them to successfully engage these targets, making their own wind calls and uh, distance judgments in order for that first round hit in an alternate firing position. Uh, basically, commanders will get back to them a well-trained, highly qualified sniper from the United States Army Sniper School. Um, we seek for nothing less in that aspect. Every guy that is sent to us, we mold them into the best shooter that we possibly can in this uh, five-week time frame that we've spent here in Alaska. So. These commanders are getting back some excellent shooters right now.